everyone. I'm Sharik from Quadrant Protocol. Welcome back to our next video for Consumer Client. In our previous video, we talked about our producer client and we saw that how our producer client solves the problem of unauthentic data and it brings transparency to the data ecosystem. How the client can be used by our data producer to prove the authenticity and provenance for the data. In this video, we will talk about our consumer client and we will also show you that how this client can be used by our data buyer to verify the authenticity of the purchase data. Our consumer client is a Java based microservice application. We will be releasing support for other programming languages also. Uh, for this demonstration, we have configured our client with AWS services. So before wasting time, let's jump into the demo. Let's start the demo. We have used S3 as a storage solution here, but our client is storage agnostic and it can work with any kind of storage solution. We used AWS Lambda to run and execute our code. CloudWatch will help us to look into the, into the logs generated by our consumer client. Our consumer client is actually an event based application. The client gets triggered whenever a file comes in into the storage location. And in the background, it create a hash of the data. And then it looks for the hash into the quadrant protocol. I'll walk you through the whole process, how the whole thing works. Let's suppose that this is a consumer data buyer uh, data storage location and we are delivering one of the data file to this data buyer. We are delivering consumer client demo file to the data buyer. Let's deliver it. So, the data got delivered and this data, this data file was stamped by our producer client previously. So we will see that information also into the CloudWatch. So let's go to the CloudWatch and see what happens when the consumer client received a data file. So you see we have a CloudWatch logs and the log states that this is the data file with this hash and then it connected to quadrant node then it tried to verify the existence of the of the hash from the data stamping smart contract and it found that this is a single the single version found that means the data was stamped by one of the data producer and this is the producer the best part is you can always track who stamped the data so this is the producer who stamped the data it has other informations like the timestamp on which the data was created the file name the metadata information so with all these informations data buyer as a data buyer you can always verify the authenticity of your purchase data i'll walk you through another use case that will be quite helpful so so this is the same data file what i'll do i will tamper this data file meaning I won't do much, I will just add some three blank lines and then I will save it and I will try to deliver it again to the data buyer. I didn't change the file name, I didn't wrote any content, I just added three blank lines. So let's deliver the data again to the data buyer and see what happens.
you see the time stamp got changed so that means this is the latest version of the file the file got updated with the latest content now let's go back to the cloud watch and see what actually happened okay let's go down look for the latest logs yes this is the latest log i'll show you what was the miracle here so see this is the data file we know that this is the name of the data file and this is the data hash and then it tried to connect with the quadrant node and it got a status that the stamp not found on the quadrant but why i'll explain you why so let's come here close this down close this down i'll show you the full comparison between our uh, between the two different uh, data hashes so just a second yes yeah so see at this particular time stamp when we when we deliver the data for the first time to our data buyer this was the data hash after 2 minutes later when we delivered the data with the same data file name the data hash got changed to this one and in the status it says that stamp not found on the quadrant protocol so what does it mean it says that our consumer client can handle verification even at the byte level we didn't add any data content we just added some new lines with the, and that too also uh, the, some new blank lines and as a result the whole data files hash got changed so we are trying to we are trying to conserve the integrity of the data file and this is where our consumer client will help the data buyer to prove the authenticity of and verification for their purchased data products in the meantime you have also seen that uh, how the same file can generate two different data hash results so so that's how uh, our consumer client works and it helps our data buyer to verify their purchased data products so you can see that our consumer client is verifying any kind of data change it is verifying data at the byte level even if you do a small change in the space this can be verified and and the end it will result into a total different data file hash so over the previous video and this video we have learned how our consumer client and producer client brings transparency to the data ecosystem how both together can be used by the data practitioners to deal with real and authentic data sets i would like to take this time to bring the reminder that our test net is live and we are looking for beta tester if you want to test our clients send me an email i'll get back to you thanks for your time thank you